العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. All praise be to Allah subhanahu wa taala, the one who created us, the one who fashioned us, our designer, our maker, the one who knows us better than our own selves, and we send peace and blessings upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his family, his companions, and all those who follow him until the day of judgment. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala once again who allowed us and gave us the ability to fast yet another month of Ramadan and who gave us life to see our biggest Islamic celebration, Eid al-Fitr. My dear respected brothers, on this blessed day, our hearts are going, to, going through two different emotions. On one side, we are happy and we are joyful that we have fasted the month of Ramadan and that we have fulfilled this fundamental obligation of our deen we're also delighted that we have prayed a faraid and a sunnah salah. We remembered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala frequently. We gave our sadaqah. We mentioned Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala abundantly. And because of such actions, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions us in the Quran, in Surah al Ra'd, in Ayah 29, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Those who believe and do good deeds, glad tidings to them of a beautiful abode. But on the other hand, my brothers, we are sad. Our hearts are filled with sorrow, maybe for some even regret. As we see this beautiful month off and all its virtues and privileges, they are now departing and perhaps we hadn't taken advantage of it as we should have. In one narration, it is mentioned that Rasulullah said, when the last night of Ramadan comes to an end, the heavens and the earth and the angels, they begin to cry because of that which has befallen the Ummah of Rasulullah <coughs> Someone asked, what is that which has befallen the Ummah of Rasulullah that night? He answered, the departure of Ramadan is a calamity. It is a calamity because in that month, the du'as are accepted, charity is accepted, the good deeds are multiplied and the punishments are suspended. Most certainly, my dear brothers, the departure of the month of Ramadan is a hard pill to swallow for the true and sincere believer. A few days ago, the Imam, he asked a regular brother of our masjid, how is your Ramadan going? He said, Wallahi, I wish that Ramadan was throughout the whole year and not just one month. That, my brothers, is a prime example of a true believer's love for this month. The days of Eid, my brothers, is a day of victory for a believer. We have beaten the shaitan, we've beaten our whims and desires, we have made sabr and we made it through the month. Because of these facts, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared some special reward for those people. The Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa he said, when a person fasts the month of Ramadan and comes to pray the Eid Salah, Allah, the, Allah Jalla Jalaluhu says, O oh my angels, everyone expects a reward for his efforts. Be a witness. Be a witness that the reward for the one who fasted this month, the one who made effort this month, and the one who came to offer their Eid Salah is my forgiveness. Thereafter, an angel calls out, O Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, return home. Your sins have been returned into good deeds. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O my slaves, you have fasted and eaten in my name. All your sins are forgiven. The night before Eid is known as the night of reward. A companion of the Prophet sallallahu Abu Darda radiallahu anhu, he says, whoever spends the night before Eid in ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his heart will not die on the day the hearts of the people will begin to die. On the morning of Eid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends his angels all across the lands of the earth, calling, O people of Muhammad, rush to, your house, to the houses of your Lord so that he may give you your reward and forgive your sins. And when the people gather in the houses of Allah to pray the Eid Salah, the Lord of the world says to his angels, what sort of reward belongs to the one who has fulfilled his duty properly? They say it is only right that he receives their, his reward in full. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O angels, be witnesses that due to their fasting and standing in Taraweeh Salah, they will receive my happiness and my forgiveness. Wahab bin Munabi relates that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Verily every Eid, in every Eid, Iblis sallallahu alayhi gathers with the other shayateen, which say to him, Who has upset you so much this month? Who has made you so angry? He says, no one, but I'm angry and upset that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this day is forgiving the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then Iblis orders the other shayateen and says to them that from today you are to tempt them with tests, with alcohol, with trials until they give in and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins to resent them. Dear brothers, 
We must know that our Eid is not like the Eid and the holidays of the West where we become negligent and drop our guard. It is a celebration and a happiness, yes, but it is also a time where we never forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are constantly remembering Him and praising Him. We advise ourselves of that which the Prophet ﷺ advised and that is to give lots of charity on Eid, to visit our families, our neighbours, to make peace between people and do good to the young and to the old and praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala abundantly as it is a day in which He looks at you with mercy. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our month, our fasting, our shortcomings in this month. Though we had wasted a lot of time and only we know best how much we actually wasted, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept the little that we did to unite our hearts and inshallah one day to gather us like this in Jannatul Firdaus al A'la. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. On behalf of the Jama'ah, Eid Mubarak, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this month from us and may He give you a beautiful and blessed day with your families. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Jazakumullah khayran. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, <laughs> Rabbil